Like you can tell from the title, probably the picture, every time. I was saying from the picture and the title, you can tell we're going to talk about the CGRB Sealax, which is a fixed blade by my friend Dylan Mallory, designed designed by, I should say. So but before we get into it any further, let's turn this. That's not right at all. Before we get any further, turn down the volume. Here comes a little bit of music. talking about the knife this is something that's coming up uh, I actually interacted with the guy that owns this channel or the people that owns this channel I shouldn't say guy this is Phipps movie productions this is the trailer for the prisoner this is a trailer I got goosebumps just thinking about it for my favorite book series of all time Stephen King's Dark Tower um, my mother started buying me those books when they first came out I had the first book the second book every time one came out that year was that was my Christmas present every year or my birthday present depending on when it got released my favorite book series of all time probably read it 15 times it is a massive massive book series and they are going to do a full audio drama version of it with a full cast and, and scripts and so that it's written and I I'm just amazed by this because everyone that's the Stephen King fan of that book series feels let down by what was delivered by Hollywood. So they, as he said, this is a love letter to the fans by the fans. So guys, go follow the link to this. I'm putting the link to the video and the channel, everything down below. It, it's, it's amazing the visuals that they have here. So, um, but back to the fact that this is a knife channel, I put a knife down somewhere. I'm gonna leave this playing background because it's just beautiful. This is the CJRB Sealax, designed by my friend Dylan Mallory over at Mallory Designs. This is a lot of fun. It's a fixed blade. I think this was his first or second foray into the fixed blade stuff. There's not a lot to unpack here. It's a fixed blade knife. Um, but yeah, we'll, uh, we're, we're going to take a look at it from above and, and do, some, do some review. And then, uh, and then I'm going to wind up giving the black handle version of this away to the paying members. So... That being said, guys, let's turn this around, take a close look guys, at it. Like I said in the intro, there is not going to be a first impressions of this knife because it's pretty straightforward. And I'd already done one and I just didn't film like, feel like we're filming it. It was a really short video because like I said, it's a fixed blade. So let's go ahead and just do an overall review of this. This is the CJRB Sealax. It's done by Dylan. It's designed by Dylan Mallory, done by Artisan CJRB. This is one of Dylan's first fixed blades. He has another design that I'm really interested in seeing. It's almost like a karambit. It's got the ring on the back and stuff, but it's a fixed blade. So what are we looking at here? Let's get some specs out of the way. Um, sorry about that, guys. I had to pause real quick. So this is a full tang fixed blade with blade length of 5.11 inches. They have it listed as a drop point. I would argue that that's either clip point, reverse tonto. Uh, it's done in ARRPM9. At HR at, at at a Rockwell fifty nine to sixty one on a Rockwell, uh, I like the ARRPM nine steel blade thickness on this is 0 0.11. Let's go ahead and grab the calipers real quick. Check that, and I want to check the behind the edge thickness. Now, like I said, I have two of these knives. One of them is a giveaway. I did use this one, and I used it predominantly in the kitchen. So, point point one. 095, so just real close on that 0.11 behind the edge thickness on this. It's not super thin and slicey behind the edge, it's 0.025-ish behind the edge. So compared to a lot of other kitchen knives, it's not as slicey, but that wasn't the intent. This was designed more to be kind of an outdoor knife. Um, I do know Dylan had said that he'd done some batoning and things with it. I saw some videos of it. Uh, so handle length on this is not listed, but your overall length is 9.74. So all you have to do is subtract your blade length. Um, G10 handles, uh, they are removable. 
just like the, I mean, this is really similar, this identical construction to my sea snake, uh, same steel and everything. This is a bigger, more outdoorsy kind of thing. They have the, the weight listed at six ounces. Let's grab the scale real quick and we'll check that. Um, like I said, I can't attest to the accuracy of the scale, even though that Nick Shabazz has certified it. Um, so in ounces, they say six ounces. Um, I think six ounces might include the sheath. I don't know. I got all this information from the Artisan website, so I'm not exactly sure how they do it. So let's go ahead and weigh it with the sheath and rope. And that's coming in five, five, eight. So I'd imagine that's how they weighed it. So without sheath, you are looking at four and a half ounces. So it's not real super heavy in grams for those of you that don't do freedom units. 129 grams so it is kind of more of a robust it this would be something i think would bridge that gap between um an outdoor knife that you would carry for day-to-day -day tasks in a campsite and having a food prep knife uh this did work well in the kitchen it's not as slicey as i would like for a lot of the really kitcheny tasks that i would do but if you're out in the field this would be a nice knife that would bridge that gap you could carry this uh, all you have to do is get some soft loops. You could carry this on the belt. It's got a Kydex sheath. Um, I don't, this is, this is awful big for the rope, uh, to use it as a neck knife, but it did work well for certain things in the kitchen. I cut onions. I cut a bunch of other stuff. I cut some meat with it. Uh, an aggressive 600 grit edge on this. It did do some kitchen tasks really well. Meat, especially slicey, slicey stuff that you need. Like if you were cutting cheese and thing, a little bit thick, it did have a tendency to not want to slice some things like, uh, that, you know, think things that wanted to break carrots and things like that. It just was a little bit thick for that, but it did work. And like I said, if you were out in the woods, that would be that would be a great compromise. If you're going out and you knew you're going to be camping and you're going to do survival style camping, you needed a knife, but you were also going to, you've taken some food, you had to do some food prep. Good, good knife for that. It is thick enough. Like I said that, yes, you could do outdoor tasks. If you needed to, you get baton with this. Um, I think that this would be a little bit thin for that. But like I said, I saw Dylan do it. Um, things are getting into focus that I don't want in focus. Uh, you can see Ma Mallory Design logo. Now, the grind on this was done really well. Uh, it's an attractive knife. This is one of the prototypes, I believe. It did have a little bit of a hiccup right back here at the heel. But the fact is, the majority part of the blade that I'm going to be using is in this area here. That's pretty much where I'm holding it in a pinch grip. I held this like because it was kitchen style. So I was using it like a pinch grip. So I'm carrying it like that. I'm not using that back part. I was using the front probably three quarters of the blade. And it did a good job in the kitchen. It didn't do a stellar job. It didn't do a great job, but it did an okay job. I definitely have seen other kitchen knives that are marketed as such that did not do as well. Let's go ahead and uh, pull this one out and take a look at it. Because this is one I'm going to give away to the uh, paying members on the channel. So this one did not come with a rope, but uh, I'm pretty sure I'm going to put the rope in, the rope off of this one in. This one is staying here. Um, Nico's probably going to have it for a little while. Same thing. Just black G10. Um, I'll clean that up. That's just a little bit of uh, glue or something. I'm going to clean this up and give it away to the paying members. Uh, it, it is it is a really comfortable, comfortable knife. And I'm just going to keep this one. This one has had nothing done to it. So you guys are getting this new inbox. The only thing I did with this... Actually, I think that I, that's only like the second time it's been out of the sheath. So, But... Uh, yeah, I did give, I did put this through some paces and, and I was kind of pleased with it. I did some outdoor stuff. It cuts cardboard really, 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 really well um, because it is nice and thin and it's long. So you can get some long cuts, um, a full size fixed blade, you know, it's over nine inches. So really, really comfortable. I, there's no fatigue. Like if you were using this and you had this in a campsite and you were using this to do tasks around a campsite, there's no fatigue. The handle is really really good dylan does a really good job making handles that everyone seems to like uh they seem to be really comfortable in any situation so there you go guys that is the dylan mallory design cjrb sealax nice nice little knife I, and not little either uh i really do like it so hang on a second i'm gonna get a piece of cardboard i'm gonna show you how well this cuts some cardboard i don't do this real often but this thing even this corrugated cardboard it's so thin it's thinner than a lot of other fixed blade knives. And I'm trying not to like sling cardboard everywhere, but that's, that's corrugated cardboard and it's 
nice to have a longer draw. You can cut, you know, with less effort if your knife is longer. You're not having to use as much force because you can draw through it longer. So yeah, it cuts really well. I did cut down a lot of cardboard with this, um, and I, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I like, I like the idea of it. It's just not something that I need or would carry anymore. So there you go, guys. Let's turn this around. And do some final thoughts. So, like I said, guys, this uh, this is a this is a fun little fixed blade. It kind of bridges the gap between. Uh, I, it, it's something if you're going to do some outside camp, if you're, if you're a guy that goes camping and takes food, takes your family out, it's something that kind of fits a dual purpose. You can use it for camp tasks and cooking. It, it is very well suited to be a dual purpose camp, but it is robust enough. You can do a lot of other stuff, like I said. So just a, this is another good design from Dylan. He's uh, like Elliot and I said, he, he's one of those designers that's just kind of knocking out of the park. He's one of my favorites. Um, Elliot counted him out. Elliot Williamson counted him out as one of his favorites as well. So, guys, that being said, that's the end of the video. There's not much on this one. Uh, like I said, it's a fixed blade. It's, it's kind of hard to throw a lot in there. So, if you guys like the videos, give them a thumbs up. If you don't like them, give them a thumbs down. But please try to tell me why I can't change content if I don't know what you don't like. Um, if you want to support the channel, there's multiple ways you can do it. Like I always say, like sharing that uh, Brian Phillips. Uh, video there that the, this just sharing the content with people you think would enjoy it is is great uh, it gets it out there it gets the channel more views but if you want to support the channel financially I do have a membership link down below that gets you into uh, exclusive giveaways exclusive content early access to videos uh, you know member only feeds that I'm gonna start doing and I do some stuff off YouTube for the paying members uh, I'm thinking about doing a meetup. I have a movie day that I'm planning on doing like once or twice a month where we, we just use 2.7. It, it's not even tied to YouTube. It, it, there's no way you can even donate because you guys already do enough, the paying members do. I just want to give something back where I give a little bit of my time to spend time together where there's just no way that you can donate the money. So I also have the merch store that's tied with Ember Shirt Co. Uh, I have a, like either one of those links you use will can get you to my merch store, but they have all kinds of other stuff on their store and I have a coupon code set up for you guys. It's crazy sharp, all one word, capital S, cap or capital C, capital S, crazy sharp, all one word, saves you 10% at checkout. And I have a bunch of affiliate links down below that if you can do some shopping on Amazon, I would appreciate if you just use the affiliate links. So guys, that's it for this one. I love you all. I'm so stoked about that. I'm so stoked about that, that dark tower thing. Um, <laughs> I just can't get it off my mind. I love you all. Take care of yourselves. Be good to each other. Keep it clean in the comment section. It makes it so much easier for me and Nico to manage that and moderate the channel or uh, moderate the chat. Uh, if it's your birthday, happy birthday, and I will see you in the next video.